Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Beach House series. In the last video we made this big roof, then deleted it on the grounds of ugliness. We kept the laundry roof and we're going to build on that to make our new roof. Firstly we'll copy the laundry roof to the upstairs bathroom location. We'll just zoom in and use the move tool with the control key. We'll grab it at this point and lift it into place over the bathroom guidepost. Now we'll select the laundry roof again using the move tool. We hover over the top and spin it around 90 degrees. Now we zoom in and place guide post over guide post. Now we'll tap the control key and make a copy and take it to the upstairs bedroom. So it's starting to take shape. Now we've got some of this laundry roof inside the house and we need to fix that up. We open up the roof group and take the line tool to mark the wall face on it. Then we open up the spandrel group and do the same thing. We're going to use a common technique in SketchUp using the view hide rest of model. We go to the view tab, go to component edit, then choose hide rest of model. Now we only see the group or the component that we're working on. Double click on the roof and push the unwanted bit out of the way. Now we do the same for the spandrel panel. Go back to the view tab, component edit and deselect hide rest of model. Now we're going to copy the spandrel and reuse it. Going to make a sloping roof over the laundry and a flat ceiling over the toilet. So it's move plus control and drop it over the toilet wall. Now we push the toilet ceiling to where we want it. Now select the roof and push pull, then create the eave, two feet or 600 wide, and that's it. We're now going to make the roof over the main bedroom. Once again we'll have a flat ceiling over the bathroom and a sloping ceiling in the bedroom. We'll take this spandrel and copy it to the bedroom wall. Then pull the spandrel over the bathroom to form a ceiling. Now we'll go to the roof and push pull all the way across to the balcony. Now we've got a little problem with this eave overhang. It's hanging down lower than the ceiling and dropping into the bedroom next door. So we need to fix that up. We'll push it back in two feet 
or 600 and make Eve a different way. But first we'll put our sloping ceiling over the stair area. Just zoom in and copy this line, select it, and with move plus control we make a copy and slide along the green direction to around here somewhere. Now we take the push-pull tool and extend the roof. We pull it right out and reference the bottom of the wall where it meets the deck. Then we pull it over to meet the bedroom wall. I'm going to put another line in here so I can extend the roof to suit a veranda post. had a bit of trouble with that, with an extra face there, but it doesn't matter, we'll fix that up later. So that's it, looking good. Now for the roof over the second bedroom. It's going to have a flat ceiling, so we'll pull this spandrel into place by referencing this wall. And now for the tricky part. I'd like this roof to merge neatly into the other roof. So we're going to split it into at the ridge line. And use the follow me tool to get the roof to flow in two different directions. This way the eave will wrap neatly around the corner. So we take the line tool, draw a vertical line at the apex. We're going to alter this face, but first we have to select it, right click and choose reverse face. That's the weird part. Then we draw lines to show the path that we want the roof to follow. We then select those lines with the select tool while holding shift. We can choose them both and they should turn blue. Then we take the follow me tool and click it on the face. SketchUp calls this extruding. The follow me tool, it's a great tool, a bit volatile but lots of fun. And take a look at the eave, it's perfect. Uh, a sloping eave that wraps around the corner. Now we do the same on the other side of the roof to merge the roof into the sloping ceiling over the stairs. We need another line to follow, so we use the line tool again, select the ridge line that we used before and hold down shift and select the new line, take the follow me tool and click on the surface and that's it, beautiful.